Hello everyone. In uh, today's session, we are going to derive equations of motion. Okay. Uh, what are the equations of motion? You have already studied this. Probably eighth or eighth or ninth. I don't remember. V is equal to u plus a t. <coughs> have you seen this equation? V is equal to u plus a t. X is equal to u into t plus half into a into t square. V square is equal to u square plus 2ax. You might have done the derivation also. Correct now? These equations of motion, I am going to derive once again. Okay. Try to remember whatever you have studied before. Okay. So here to derive these uh, two equations, we are using Vt graph. Okay. Using Vt graph. Using Vt graph, we are deriving equations of motion. So here two important points uh, we need to remember. In the last class, in the last class, what we have done, we proved that, we proved that area under VT curve, okay, area under VT curve gives what? Displacement. This is one point. The second point is, if you have a VT curve, if you have a VT graph, okay, if you find the slope, if you find a slope, what will be the slope? Delta V by delta T. What is delta V by delta T? Acceleration. Slope of Vt graph gives acceleration, one point. Another point is area under Vt graph gives displacement. These two points you need to remember. One is area under Vt graph gives displacement. Another is slope of Vt graph gives acceleration. This we have studied in the previous video. Now uh, we will go to the derivation. First I will explain you the situation. What is the situation? Uh, let us suppose that there is a there is an object, okay, there is a ball or something, okay. Initially, at a time t is equal to 0 seconds, when time z, t is equal to 0 seconds, its velocity is u meter per second. When time t is equal to 0 second, its velocity is u meter per second. That is why we call this u as initial velocity, okay. Then this particle moves with some acceleration. Say I call that acceleration as a meter per second square. It moves with some acceleration. As acceleration means what? Velocity is changing. Here velocity is increasing. Okay. It moves with an acceleration a for some time t. Okay. For some time t. When the time becomes equal to t seconds, when the time becomes equal to t seconds, say the velocity of the body is v meter per second. When the time t is equal to zero, velocity is u. When the time t is equal to t, velocity is v. The body is moving with a uniform acceleration of a, okay. And in this process, say the body travels a displacement, the body travels a distance in a straight line equal to x. This is the situation. For this situation, we draw a graph, okay. We draw a vt graph, okay. So, <coughs> what to do? I'm drawing a Vt graph. Vt graph. Here velocity is taken in meter per second. Time is taken in uh, seconds. Let us suppose that, okay, so initially in the situation that we have seen, okay, what is the situation? Okay, initially when t is equal to 0, velocity is u, t is equal to 0 second, velocity is u meter per second, okay, then what happens? When the time becomes equal to t, when the time becomes equal to t, the velocity is v. When the time is equal to t, the velocity is v. Okay. So when the time is t, what is the velocity? This this velocity is v. So u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity. And I'll name it. I'll name this point as some O. Okay. I call this as O. 
I call this point as some uh, A, this as uh, B, and this as C. Okay. Now, how to find the slope of this graph? Okay. How to find slope? Slope means see, y, y by x, correct? Now, slope. I I name this point as some D. Okay. Slope means y by x. Slope of this ET graph, okay. Slope of AB, slope of AB is equal to y by x. What I can write? BD, okay. BD divided by AD. BD divided by AD. But what we know, we know that slope of ET graph is acceleration. Correct now. So therefore, slope of this curve AB will give us acceleration. Acceleration. That is equal to what is B D? See, this length is u, correct now. This length is u, right? This length is v. This length is v. Then what is this length? This length will be v minus u, correct now. This is v. This is u. This length will be v minus u, correct now. Or v minus u. Right, so V D is equal to V minus U divided by A D. A D. Okay, this is A D. So this is zero. This is T. So therefore, what is this length? T minus zero, or this length is equal to T. If this is T, this is also T. A D is equal to T. Now what happened? We got V minus U is equal to A into T. Now this U. Which is negative, which goes to the RHS, we get V is equal to U plus AT. This is the first kinematic equation. Very very simple. V is equal to U plus AT. Proved. Okay. Now uh, we will derive the next two equations. One is x is equal to U T plus half AT square, and the other is V square equal to U square plus two AX. That is also very simple. Okay. So here, which concept I should use? I am using the uh, concept. Displacement equal to we know that displacement displacement is equal to area area under area under vt curve area under vt curve displacement is equal to area under vt curve. Okay. <coughs> so what is this area? See what I can do. Area under AB, area under AB means means okay this area. One second. This area. How do I find this area? Area of this triangle plus area of this rectangle I can do. Or directly, what I can do, I can uh, calculate the area of trapezium, trapezoid. If you remember, okay, area of trapezoid, I'll find out. What to do? What I'll do is, okay, displacement equal to, okay, area, area of trapezium, area of trapezium or trapezoid. Okay, what is the name of that trapezium? A B C O, right? Area of trapezium. A B C O. So that is equal. To, what is the area formula? Half into sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance. Area of trapezium. Half into sum of parallel sides. So what is this? This is U. U plus V. Correct na? U plus V. Into perpendicular distance. What is perpendicular distance? T or area of trapezium. How, how I can write AO plus BC multiplied by OC. AO plus BC multiplied by OC. Means what? This is sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance. Okay. What is AO? AO means U. BC means V. Correct na? V. Into O C means T. Okay, so x equal to half into 
u plus v into t. I name this equation as star. Now in this equation, I will substitute for v now. Okay, I will substitute for v. What happens? x equal to half into u plus, what is v? v equal to u plus at. Okay. u plus a into t all multiplied by t. What happens? On simplification, x equal to u plus u is u plus u is 2u, 2u plus at into t. Okay, next step. x will be equal to, okay, half into 2u, okay, is what? u, half into 2u is u, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Half into at is half at whole multiplied by t. Now what happens? This x will be equal to u into t u into t plus half a into t square half a into t square this is the second equation of motion very simple so what we have done we have used the concept area under vt curve is equal to displacement to find a area under the vt curve what we have done we have seen that this area is a trapezium we found the area of the trapezium so what, what is the formula half into sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance. Here in this equation, I have substituted for v, v equal to u plus at and simplification, I got the answer. Now, in this equation star, if you substitute for t, okay, what substitution I should do for t, see, I know, I know that v equal to u plus at, v equal to u plus at, then, then at will be equal to at will be equal to v minus u. Am I correct? Correct now. Nah? u comes here. So v minus u equal to at. at means v minus u. Or t or t is equal to v minus u by a. v minus u divided by a. I'll use this value of t and substitute, substitute this in equation star. Then what happens? Then what happens? x equal to x equal to half into half into u plus v u plus v into t what is t t is equal to v minus u by a correct now v minus u divided by a now what i'll do i'll write this like this x equal to u plus v i'll write it as v plus u okay v plus u into v minus u see now this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b okay divided by 2a what happens v plus u into v minus u is equal to v square minus u square what happens is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2a now what happened this 2a comes here okay now what happens 2a x i'll write here 2a x is equal to v square minus u square v square minus u square correct now see 2a into x is equal to v square minus u square therefore this u square go to it will go to lhs it becomes finally v square equal to u square plus 2a x so this is the third equation of motion this is the third equation of motion so using these three equations of motion we are going to we are going to solve many problems okay so you have you will have to solve many problems using these equations of motion because in whatever the chapter you study say for example you study a chapter like electric field there is an electric field there is a charge placed in electric field the charge moves in a straight line then also you have to use equations of straight line chapter that is why initial chapters are very very important the three equations of motion we have uh, uh, derived what we have taken we have considered an object it was initially moving with the velocity of u meter per second at t is equal to zero second it moves with an acceleration of a and attains a speed v in time t during this process the object covers a displacement equal to x then what we did corresponding to that situation we drew a vt graph then we used two concepts first concept is slope of vt graph gives acceleration we used that concept and we wrote an equation for acceleration and we derived v is equal to u plus at then we used one more concept what is that 
displacement equal to area under the vt curve and area under that curve was very similar to trapezium so therefore we found area of the trapezium what is that half into sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance then we substituted first when we substituted for this equation v okay v equal to u plus at we have used and we got x is equal to ut plus half it is square then for the same equation star we substituted for t so we have written an equation for t here okay what is the equation for t v minus u by a then what happened this uh, came in the form of a plus b into a minus b we wrote this as a square minus b square and we got the equation v square equal to u square plus 2ax so students what you have to do okay once without without looking the video just take down the notes just try to see whether you can derive uh, the derivation without looking at the uh, material or this video okay then uh, please make a proper notes for this entire bridge course for the better understanding thank you very much